Happy Thanksgiving Eve. Y'all cooking or something? I don't know. Y'all know I don't be cooking. I ordered my cakes, honey. I got all my cakes ready to go. <laughs> I got my cakes ready to go, honey. <laughs> Shout out to all the Thanksgiving cookers who are cooking early today. We probably still not going to eat till tomorrow at like 8 or 9. It doesn't matter. Uh, you said we not going live on the other channel. Uh... No, I decided to try something different because, you know, YouTube be playing with my emotions because I'm like, why well, I'm put two demonetized videos up? I'd rather just put up one demonetized video at a time. <laughs> Shoot. I don't even know. They might have monetized this one because of that. I don't know. I just, you know, I have to, like, play around with it. You said you making a little small, little something, a little dinner something. You ain't cooking nothing, Shay Shay Pop. I ain't either, Shay Shay Pop. I'm not either. If I could have ordered my fried turkey, I probably would have already done that. Tonight's topic, we're talking about social media anxiety. We're talking about Summer Walker. You know, she she has been in the news recently. You know, she claims she has a lot of social media anxiety. She went on live yesterday and like pretty much explained how she feels. Also, we're talking about Idris Elba. Idris Elba has social media anxiety. Idris Elba said he's stepping away from the Twitter because it makes him depressed. And we're also talking about Instagram taking away likes because so many people suffer social media anxiety and all of that so you said why they mad i don't know why is why are they mad and where is fedra where is fedra what else we talk about we got a whole bunch of stuff to talk about you know it's early i decided to come in here early just to you know chit chat with you guys for a minute but um let me just start with i could i guess i could start with instagram first y'all know instagram uh, has talked about, you know, taking away likes and numbers for quite some time now. They were testing it in other markets in Canada and other countries and things, but it's finally made it over to the U.S. Not everybody has gotten it, though. I'm one of the people who have, and I'm like, why y'all pick me? Why, why, why y'all pick me? Like, on my Instagram, I only see uh, people saying, you know, I see, like, the comments. But I don't see any numbers. All I see on my Instagram is like on my timeline, huh? like there go Peter right there. I don't know if y'all can see that. But it says like by XYZ and others. It has no numbers down there. I don't know if you can see that pretty clearly. But it has no numbers on it. It's like, and I know Deara. Y'all know Deara and Ken. I know she got like a whole bunch of likes. It says like by whoever and others. It has no numbers so, you know, as far as I'm concerned, I can't see how many likes these people get. I can only see that a few of my friends liked it and others. Uh, a lot of people think that's a good thing. Some people think that's a bad thing. Some people don't even care one way or the other. Me personally, I, you know, I kind of, I, you know, I kind of like it. Maybe they figure, you know, they start with me because I don't post much. <laughs> and like, she's one of the people who has social media anxiety. Let's try it on Michelle. So, you know, I thought that was interesting. Hold on, where is my comments? Y'all know I be losing them. Hold on, let me try to pull them up over here. Hey, Mike, I see you. Uh, I, what do y'all think? Have y'all got y'all likes taken away yet on the Instagrams? Have you noticed a change? Um, I Look, you know, I got my other account. I got my straight from the A account. And, you know, I got some troll accounts too, but that's a whole nother story. But I got my straight from the A account. And when I log into my straight from the A account... I still see numbers. So I'm like, and it's it's from the same phone. So I'm like, clearly it's not a uh, app thing. It's by account. So when I look at this account, like I'm on straight from the A now. Oh no, it's, wait a minute. It says others on here too. Okay, on my straight from the A account, it does say others. Okay, hmm. Let me look on my troll account. Hmm. My troll account got numbers. I wonder why. <laughs> I'm not going to show you what my troll account name is. But, you know, some of them have numbers and some of them do not. You said you still have numbers. Uh, Just lovely. What did you say? Your moderator, you know, blocked you. What? Why they block you? What you say? What had you said? Um, But anyway, moving on. Summer Walker. I don't know if you know who Summer Walker is. She is an up-and-coming songstress. She has a hot song out there. 
uh, you know, and people have been discussing Summer Walker for quite some time. She gets dragged a lot online because she came out recently and claimed that, you know, social media is driving her crazy. She has anxiety. She don't like to perform. She ain't showing up for concerts, all kind of things. So social me um summer walker hit the net recently and i want to share with you what she said her doing her doing uh she was very i guess she was transparent i don't know if she was transparent or not but she claims that because of uh you guys and all of you people talking about her that you know she's really in her feelings hold on i'm gonna play it i'm just gonna play the audio for you if i can pull it up she said um she's addressing all of those of you who kind of didn't believe her when she said it the first time um she said that uh it's just funny how a lot of you people on social media question her and her decision to be famous knowing she suffers from social media anxiety she said talk show host wendy williams was even among those critics uh, you know, questioning why she would dare perform in sexy outfits and take pictures on social media in sexy outfits while claiming to be, you know, have anxiety. She also said that, um, you know, it's no laughing matter. And she referenced the Soul Train Awards acceptance speech because she said clearly, you know, I was feeling some kind of way. I was, I was sounding like that because I was damn scared. Let me see. Let me see if I can play this audio. You're not even accepting award. When you actually see me get my award and you see how I spoke on the stage, and I didn't on the check, bitch. Look, I sounded slow. I was scared. I was scared, okay? Everybody else gave a long ass speech. I did it because I have social anxiety. I was scared as fuck. And um, then everybody decided to say it was an act. Oh, it's an act. It's an act. Bitch, you're dragging it. So this is, I just want to let y'all know, not me, bitch, because I'm living a great life, but. This is how people commit suicide, okay? When people tell you what's literally going on with them and then people still continue to bully them, like Wendy fucking P. Williams, that bad bitch, I don't even understand how she could ever look in how she looking. Let me stop. Because um, I didn't come on here to spread negativity. I just came here to explain myself. Um... So that's, you know, part of what she said. In addition to to that, she addressed, you know, you know, a lot of people were dragging her online because recently she had came out saying that she didn't like to take showers. And people took that literally and started like dragging her like Summer Walker must stink. Summer Walker, da da da. Summer Walker must be funky. Summer Walker. And you know, she got, you know, thousands, maybe a million people. I don't know how many people she got on social media. Like dragging her, talking about that. Remember, I had the same thing. People talking about my coochie stink because some gay man said my coochie stink. Like, gay men don't even like vagina but i digress uh but summer walker you know she's in her feelings about that too she made a comment about that stating hold on i'm gonna pull it up all right you know i gotta i gotta pull up the audio summer walker has said and i quote is at the four minute mark hold on because right, i'm trying not to play all the videos to take showers i still take them daily I prefer baths, but I take showers daily. You know what? Some people say they don't like to work out, but they get their fat ass in the gym and they still work out. A lot of people say they don't like to eat healthy, but they still eat their motherfucking vegetables, bitch. I don't like to take showers. I just don't like it. It's something about like, okay, so I'm really like OCD or whatever. And in any shower that's not at my house, like I like taking showers at my house, but somewhere else, it's usually like the the crevices of the floor there's like little dirt like even if you can't see it there's dirt in the crevices and all on the sides and it's just a big like i just feel like i'm just standing in a big germ infested fucking cell and it just made it's gross to me i don't know so, so she explained all of that look my thing is, you got social media anxiety. Why is you talking about showers on social media? You know, and, and again, I'm not trying to doubt that she has some type of anxiety, but clearly she ain't got that much anxiety if she could get on here and explain all this stuff without 
technically being asked what do you guys think is, is, what is this is this social media anxiety to you my social media anxiety is i'm not going live bump all these people i don't care what they say i'm not giving them nothing to talk about that's what my social media anxiety is but her social media anxiety seems to be a little bit different and i don't know maybe people suffer in different ways People suffer in different ways. But uh, hold on. Let me see if I can. I want to put it in here. Now um, now I'm all over the place because I only have one thing open. Oh, here it is right here. It's at the four minute mark. Oh, and then at the six minute mark, she said something else. What else she said? Because I'm not playing this whole thing. She said, what is the 637? Mm -hmm. Y'all like Summer Walker who? Who is Summer Walker? Oh, child, Google it if you don't know who she is. It's all good. She's, like, interesting. It's, you know, just some somebody fun to watch online if you want to just get into the drama. That's who Summer Walker is. That is all. Uh, Here she is right there. All right, okay. I can play it right here. Okay, six minutes. Six minutes. Um, but as I said, I, I will oh, repeat one more time. Right. I watched this one. Six minutes. I don't know if y'all can hear that. Can y'all hear that? I know it's kind of low. Okay, then she canceled a tour in Toronto. Some people saying yes, some people saying no. I'm trying to turn it up. Turn it to you. Toronto. By the time I got to Toronto, all I had time to do was check in my hotel, wash my ass, and get to the venue. I had ten minutes to get my makeup done. Like y'all don't. Okay, you said it's too low. Okay. Well, okay, I'm going to play one more part. At nine minutes, she was talking about, because people were saying that she only canceled the tour because she was hanging out with Drake. But she claims that, you know, she met Drake, you know, and they didn't hung out. They had met each other earlier, and she responds to that as well. And she says, hold on, where is it? I'm four hours late for a show. We only spoke for two minutes. That they only spoke for two minutes. Gotta love Jones. She said she only had a two minute conversation. How the motherfucking fuck does that work? I literally got in there, had 10 minutes to get my makeup done. By the time I do that, him, Meek, and um, some other niggas walk in. London's like, come on, babe, let's go say hi. Because I don't even be wanting to say hi because I'm a creep. I say hello. We take a picture. We talk. We probably exchange about literally two sentences, bruh. And then. They said, Summer, it's time to go on stage. That's exactly what happened. I don't know what... Well, that's what Summer claimed. She claimed that she just took a picture with him. That is not why she, uh, you know, the concert was canceled. And all I know about Summer, Summer Walker is, you know, she all right. She won a Soul Train Award. She good or whatever. But this whole thing about social media anxiety and feeling some kind of way about people discussing you online when you are going to be discussed and stay your ass offline stay your ass off
offline if you don't want people discussing you. I say that all the time about um, reality stars. If you don't want to be, if you don't want people talking about your life, don't put your life on TV, period, point blank. <sighs> now, moving on off of Summer Walker. Moving on off of Summer Walker. Let's talk about Idris Elba. Y'all know Idris Elba? Idris Elba is so fine. He is so cute. Idris says kind of sort of the same thing. Idris is like he is stepping away from Twitter because, you know, it makes him depressed. He said that, you know, he used to be consumed with his news feed. Like everything he got was on Twitter. Every five seconds he checking it, but he couldn't keep up and that was causing him anxiety. He did an interview recently where he said that he would be stepping away for 2000. He said, I've been trying to wean myself off. I used to post a lot more, but it's been putting me off lately. And Twitter is not how I want to receive my news. He continues, I read the news aggregated on my iPad, but I can't check it constantly. I'm not proud of it, but it's true because it makes me feel depressed. Okay, uh, Idris last major social media move was when he, you said boo. <laughs> His last social media move was when he um was speaking back, you know, clapping back about uh uh John Legend being, you know, the sexiest. And people was like, no, Idris is the sexiest. John, Le John Legend is not the sexiest. And I remember when Christy Teigen got online and said, you know, yeah, let me see Idris pick from 95. I bet he not hot. He's he probably still hot, but I bet he's not as hot as he is now. And so Idris got online, you know, when people kept tagging him, he got online and he posted his picture from 95. Let me see if I can put this in here. And then he, um, he, he just, oh, hold on. He was cute though. Hold on. He was cute. Where is the, uh. I don't think I see fire. I don't think I can find it. Oh, but he was cute, but he, um, you know, he's still fine, but he wasn't as cute as, you know, as he is now. But apparently, you know, he gets the same type of anxiety. Like a lot of people get anxiety, which is why, which is why, you know, people like Instagram, social media sites like Instagram and Facebook are removing the likes. Like, I, you know, I don't know. Have y'all noticed that? Have y'all noticed the change? Like, you know, look, on my end, I don't notice the change because I'm barely on there. So I guess that's why they took my likes away. They was like, she don't care anyway. But I mean, people who are constantly on like sites like, you know, Ball Alert, the Shade Room, you know, all of those, you know, big major gossip sites, the Kim Kardashians of the world. Even, even Well, you know, Kim Kardashian even said that, you know, she she liked it. She said it was a good thing for people's psyche. But um, even though y'all can't see how many likes people get, which really is just a major, you know, self-esteem boost for the person. Like, oh, I got a million likes on my thing and everybody can see it. Uh, but the people can still see it. So if, if you build your life around likes based on who likes your thing, then, you know, you can see, you can still see who likes it and you can still see, you know, your number. You just can't see everybody else's number. So I guess there's that competition that's taken away because you can't compete. Uh, I can't compete against, you know, just lovely when she get her 200 and 300 likes and I only get 50. You know what I'm saying? So there is that you said people complain about water being wet what you said what you said c patterson uh so you know i just thought that was that was very very interesting moving on moving on moving on you know i i live for instagram no i i still go on instagram occasionally i just don't be feeling like i need to show y'all every aspect of my life i want to show y'all you know what i want to show you which is crazy because most people only show you what they want to show you they show you the 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 good but they don't show you the bad they show you what they eating you know when they out at a fancy restaurant but they don't show you when they eating them bologna sandwiches at home on a paper plate they show you you know what i'm saying so it's all about you know how you curate your instagram so that's a little free social media tip put only the good pictures up and everybody will think you are amazing amazing you said, I don't think it's going to help or solve the problem. It, uh, yeah, I know. Well, with the, you know, with a younger crowd who really don't, 
who really put too much stock in numbers, it probably will. You know, I, you know the same thing with YouTube with likes and you know uh, subscribers. That's why a lot of people have hit net subscribers. Remember, I, I hit my subscribers a long time ago because I don't feel like it matters. What matters is people who watch, and the same people gonna watch whether they subscribed or not. Like, do I want subscribers? Absolutely, positively. But YouTube barely sends out notifications right now because, like, with my accounts anyway. Like, people be complaining all the time. I didn't get a notification. So, those of you in here who are subscribed, <laughs> click the notification bell if you want to be notified of my next live. Otherwise, see me when you see me. Deuces and all of that jazz. And like.